Welcome to the Merry Boozers channel, everybody. We're back from Fall Doll, and it's been just a wonderful week. Papa Boozer's been working hard on the runway here. Um, tell us a little bit about your week, Papa Boozer. He's been working his butt off. Oh, I, I didn't work. I had a lot of help. Uh, I was really... Uh, no. Yeah. I, oh, I it's not going up it. and down. Uh -oh. Oh, there it uh -oh. is. Uh -oh. Hey, okay, it is. It's wouldn't, on. Be, wouldn't be the Mary Boozer channel if we didn't. We didn't know what the heck we were problem. doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, no, we had a little bit of issues out of our but the field because channel. we had a lot of Lord. ground Black hogs channel. or molds or whatever, so we had to tear up the runway and kind of smooth it out. But other than that, uh, I was just enjoyed. Sitting at home and watching Wesley and Lori do their thing at Fall and All. You know, and real quick, RC Jet Dude's in here. I want to say, you know, some bad things happened at Nall at the end of the week. Uh, Enix airplane was stolen, but the community came together last night. And within an hour of putting up the uh, GoFundMe account, they had him a new airplane. So, guys, if you were part of that, thank y'all so much for helping get Steve's son a new airplane. The kid was flying it just outrageous out there. I, I, I couldn't believe somebody would steal an airplane. And I know he was very proud to have it. Yeah. I, I think he's a kid that's very appreciative of what he has. You can tell he is. So, to give him a new plane is just the right thing to do. And uh, I think it's awesome about the RC community of how they come together and give the the kid a new airplane. Yeah. So, and I think Wesley did. Did you give him? Well, some we're, too? we're not going to talk about anyway, that too much. Yeah, well, I mean, Steve you know, did take home four other airplanes for his sons, and that was awesome of of them to get that. And I cannot wait. Steve, you've got to post some videos up when your sons fly their new airplanes. They've got two 28s and two P-51s, and uh, we're glad to see them have them. So that's and really neat. And let's why, tell them why. Yeah, you and I sent this here. one out here tonight, guys. I've had this airplane a long time. This is my 909 B-17, and I figured with everything that's been going on the last little bit, I'd set it out here and say I do have one, and this is kind of a tribute airplane. I've had it a long time, but um, with the things that have been going on lately, I figured I'd share it with you guys. It, it hasn't ever been on the channel, but I've had it, like I said, a long time. This is the old Nitro Planes B-17. Got to get it out there and fly it, but old 909 sitting on our table. We uh, were sorry for everything that has happened with the crew of that airplane, but... Um, uh, their spirit will live on here at the Mary Boozers channel with our airplane. And that's and, why we... You know, not to drive this in the ground, but that's why we are called the Merry Boozers because of we the named airplane. our airplane after. You it know. was two crews on the Boozer, and it's to honor them. Well, so that's the same thing we're doing with this. Every airplane. time we can honor somebody with uh, one of our RC airplanes, we're, that's we're, a crazy thing, know, you know. So it's, we're, it's we're great. very uh, sorry that that happened, uh, and and I know that the uh, Collins Foundation is very. Uh, distraught about it crashing but that's part of the old airplanes yeah. unfortunately it was uh, you know, 75 you, years old or something you know now, you, so. i know that that foundation if you it does everything in the world to try to make this the old planes very safe safe mm -hmm. for all those people to get on them but unfortunately things happen yep yeah. things it, happen to jet airliners it's just part of what we do and you know it, it's that risk you take every time you go up in one it's just but for the love of it you know i've flown in a b-29 i've flown in a bunch of world war ii airplanes but i love it and it's it's part of it you know those guys knew what they were doing and and well, but they loved what they were doing and things happen unfortunately it could happen tomorrow to anybody but it's right. you right. don't let those kind of things keep you from enjoying what you love though. Well, that's I, did, something. I remember back when we were in, in Texas and, and the Confederate Air Force was in Midland. Yep. They flew a A twenty six, wasn't it? I think No, it was, it was a it was a German plane. Or yeah, the B twenty six went in too. The out A twenty six but, but then they had a they German lost plane like 10 too. Yeah. People. They, the 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 H E one eleven they lost it too. So it happens to these old airplanes guys and I know these people are trying to keep them as safe as possible, and we'll we'll let that go. But uh, anyway, unfortunately, we had a bad accident this week. But I figured I'd put 909 on the table tonight and kind of share it with you. 
Um, anyway, Joe Nall, guys, or Fall Nall, I always call it Nall in the Fall. There we go. Nall in the Fall. Takes me three tries every time to get it right, but uh, we really, me and Mrs. Boozer just had a wonderful time. I wish Papa could have come. Um, he will be there for yeah, I'll Joe be, I'll Nall. Yeah, he'll be there for Joe Nall um, in, what is it, eight, May. May. May, right? May. May. Yeah. May. I'll be there in May. Um, but we just had an awesome time, and a, and a big thanks goes out to the Motion RC guys, Alpha and James and Alex and all of them that brought us out there and let us do that. It was such an honor to fly the airliner. One of the, uh, as far as I know, I'm the only person in the United States that's ever flown it. Now, um, it was an absolute dream. We got to fly the Havoc and the Shrike glider. Also, um, got a lot of great videos for you. Uh, I am planning on putting the Havoc video out tomorrow, so you guys should be able to see that first thing in the morning. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, eh, eh, look at that. We got it up here in the corner, our yeah, live subscriber and, and account. Con congratulations, we we're at now at 1,507 subscribers, and we've done that. And this is actually it's actually it's one, one year, year pretty close like two days ago was our actual so, one year i got a notification from you we want to thank every one of you that have subscribed to our channel i thought it was earlier in the month that actually it, was like it, two days ago i got a this notification month that is the it, one year our so one year month anniversary enough. there you go we're close but enough. we are just so happy to be where we are at and what we're doing uh we just hope you guys come along for the ride uh, i mean i just I, I'm blown away, guys. So I pr thank you. We, we can't yeah. get here without you. We we and, could, uh, we wouldn't be where we are without well, you guys coming by every week, following us, watching what's going on. So I mean, it's crazy. We'll have to talk in the background about what we're going to do and when we're going to do something on the. Uh, we we haven't even talked about what we'll be doing on the giveaway. Uh, we, we don't even know yet. I, I think know. we're going to do something right at two thousand guys. Um, we haven't decided what it's going to be yet, whether it be a gift card or whether it be an airplane. It seems like everybody likes it when we do an airplane that's boozered out. Um, I know everybody wants to know about that new airliner. I can tell you guys it flies extremely stable. The flight videos you have seen on Motion's website, I was not using a gyro. Um, and Lori's highlighting something. Is the airliner is easy to fly, really easy to fly. I know you have flown... The 80 millimeter A10 and the Avanti. How does it compare to those two? The Avanti is easier to fly. The airliner has very minimal roll rate. As you saw in the film, I never rolled it. Not because it couldn't, but that airplane, I wanted to fly it as if it was a real airplane. And an airliner wouldn't have been doing rolls and stuff. Um, an airliner flies, I'm trying to think of what to compare it to. It slows down and it lands so easy, but it's not a fighter jet, guys. If you're expecting to go out there and do rolls and loops and everything with it, I don't think that's the right airplane for you. Um, but it's, it's, I will say I was impressed with the speed. Yeah. You know, I mean, the speed it, flew across. I tell you what, it's not if a, you go cooking, it will haul boogity boogity across the, the field. Most you, you were saying that you only thought. I was flying about a quarter throttle in all those flight videos that are out, just keeping it nice and steady. It's got tons of power. And I was taking it really easy on my timer, too. I had it set at two and a half minutes. And I was coming down at like 50% battery. But I would rather be safe as I was learning to fly the airplane and, and have. Stuff and you left in the tank. That's the only one. <laughs> it's the only one in the world, kind of thing. So I see didn't. people are subscribing right now. It's so crazy. The the, the ticker's going up, and yeah, it's crazy. So this thing updates live now. This is a new thing we're gonna do, um, and it actually is ticking up as we sit here. That's so crazy. I watched it go up and ten. Well, welcome all you new guys. Welcome new guys. Uh, hopefully just you're here. not going to be disappointed in the Boozers channel. So million dollar question. And I, to answer the other question, the airliner is easier to fly than the A-10, but I think the Avanti is easier to fly than the airliner. The Avanti is still my number one jet for somebody getting into this hobby that's that's transitioning from Warbirds now, to something. Now, the other question I remember... It's, it's, it's a different type of flying everybody style. everybody wants to know is about the grass. Now, I did take it off of the grass and land it in the grass. But that's like a putting green. But it's like a putting green out there. Now, those tires on that airplane are 
about that big. And I don't think it's going to have an issue with grass. You've got so dual wheels on everything. So just grass kind of You know, I'm not going to say you can take it off and stuff that's this tall. But if you have a freshly mowed field, I don't think you're going to have any issue with it. It's got suspension right. struts all the way around. Oh, it does. Okay. Uh, I, I yeah. didn't see it. So. I don't think grass field is going to be an issue. And I, I, you could just tell by the It's so easy. It, it's it's got slow. power at the kazooie. Yeah. So, so Kevin was asking, what was my favorite airplane to fly out there? You're going to be very surprised with this, and Lori will back me up. The 90mm F-16. Really? Really. They had the new upgraded version of the 90mm F-16 with their brand new motor in it, and I was blown away with the way that flew. It does not fly anything like the old airplane, because the old airplane always felt underpowered to me. Yeah, the it new was one, heavy it was heavy. Power. The yeah. new one, I could high outfit across the field. I mean, nuts. And landing well, and taking off was easy. I was in love with it. Lori will tell you, I probably flew 30 or 40 flights with that F-16. I could not quit flying it. So I was having so much, so they such a good two time. two new airplanes out. Yeah. So, but it's probably not what you thought. And then but, 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 second to the F-16, just give me yeah, a second. Okay, okay. Second to the F-16, the other plane that I was the most impressed with that I had never flown was the A-4. The A-4 is not what I expected at all. That airplane is super stable. I kept it on the nose heavy side. I had all the guys around me there. The A-4 with a little bit of nose weight was super, super docile. I, I was so surprised. I, I put the... Uh, the control throws, not as severe on it or anything, because it will drill bit down the runway, but it was a very docile airplane, and I could not believe the way it was. you were guessing just It was not what I thought it would that be. That you'd have to keep the speed up on it to, to uh, not be a, unstable yeah. with that. Uh, or you can go on wing. down in the chat. But the other thing is, I want to mention the other two new airplanes they brought out, the Havoc and the whatever they call it. The, the Havoc and glider. the Strike Glider, Strike. yeah. The Havoc is insane. I was in love with that airplane. That was, I, I think I flew the Havoc more than I flew so anything you got out there. It. What, One end of the spec. They're, they're trying to please everybody right now. You've got an airliner, yeah. you've got a, a P-51 style Reno racer, and you've got a glider. So if you're new to the hobby, the, the Skynetic brand, from what I was talking to James with, is going to be uh, a very budget-friendly airplane. Not a cheap, junky airplane, but a budget-friendly airplane. But, but I'm, I mean, we've both done the, the little Mustang Mustang yeah. and the FW-190 Dora, and God, guys, you can't They're have so any good. more fun But than I'm that. telling you, but, when you fly the Havoc... Yeah. Well, it's better than this. Well, I understand. It's crazy you how good that airplane looks. It's going about 120. It's probably going about, yeah, 180. 120. But the it flies slow also, which is the weird thing. Right. I'm trying to watch this thing right now, and it's bouncing between 1580 and 1570. It's so weird. It keeps going up and down, up and but down. It says down. Mary Boozer. This is from Kowalski. It is. It's the 90 millimeter only changes are the power system. Is the rest of the plane the same? Like yes. Okay, so power. Dave, the airplane was bone stock right out of the box. It's exactly the same airplane as the old 90s, but it's got that brand new motor. I cannot remember what they kept calling it, but the plane had tons of power. I could take off and almost go straight vertical with it out of a takeoff. And then coming by, I'd high alpha, and then I'd punch at the end, and the thing would just and come out of it. it it's a totally different airplane, I'm telling you. Does the Havoc have rudder, Dave also wants to know. Yes, the Havoc does come with a rudder, and so does the Shrike Glider. Both airplanes have rudders on them. And there will be the on Wednesday? Wednesday. Actually, I think we're going to put the Havoc video out tomorrow. Okay. We're, we're working on it right now. If we can get everything done tonight after the live show, we're going to put the Havoc video up tomorrow. Well, we did, and, and the glider too. That the glider, we're glider. still working on it. Dad's got to preview a lot of the stuff. Well, yeah, I got to preview we, it. But we, uh, the amazing part is when him and James got out James there flying in formation with the glider. I mean, right on top. You of want each something other. to fly formation, guys? That's easy, or or they make it look easy. That glider thing has got to be a, just a the best formation flying airplane. They're saying we should do a tribute video with our uh, B-17, and we might. Uh, actually, th th like I said, this kit is extremely rare now. This is the old Nitro Planes B-17. 
One thing I never liked is how, look at the flex in the wings. And when it's flying, I mean, they really, they do it. But I have flown it quite a bit. And is this the one that drops bombs? Yep, this one drops bombs. I've got a bomb release on it and everything. He's it's, flown it before, but it's been a year or at least a year. It's been a while, yeah. We've been doing so much other stuff. Yeah. But I'll get it out to the field and film it if you guys really want to see it fly. Uh, that's not a problem. We've actually got two B7. Yeah, we have two of them. I've got this one and I have the free wing B7 or two flight B25. line. Is it a free wing or is it a flight line? That might have been before they changed it where they named them both. I, don't know. I can't ever keep them straight. I have the other B-17 also. There's and then not we've got, a lot of people making 17s anymore. Now, now, like I said, this is an old one. Um, it's an oldie but a goldie. It flew good. It always did. Yeah, it, I, I was impressed. Don't with forget to talk about your combat experience. Laura, do you think you could queue up just the crash? Just out of curiosity. Yeah. Lori if got you, it on film. If you give me a minute. I can Lori's going to get it ready in the background. She's going to try and find it. I flew combat for the first time in my life. Like actual, like I'm going to hit somebody. I'm I was able to, to, to hit somebody. I took out five airplanes <laughs> in one run with one of these little P-51s. And I had the most fun I've ever had in my life doing that. Um, I couldn't believe the little P-51 kept going. And, and you'll see, if Lori's getting it queued up, but the final straw in it, the guy beside me says, you have been all over me this whole flight. I'm gonna fly down the runway. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. I was like, okay. He flies down the runway, I come up, and I just turn right into him. And I mean, they stuck together. It made the best crunch sound ever. Uh, crazy, crazy. Now, Papa looks like he's trying to drink water. He's trying to get his bifocal so he can see what you guys are <laughs> on the screen. So if would it I, help if I moved it a little bit? No, no, that's I not can not go right. up there and move I it. I just okay. have to. No, it doesn't make Hang any on. difference. I just got to get my bifocal. <laughs> let me get. Let me get you guys yeah, a little closer here for Papa. No, well, I mean, I just want to make sure we try to answer all the people's questions. That's good enough, Wesley. That's fine. That's good. Enough. Right yeah, you there. Can hear that, but, but we really like this format because we can see what, if you ask the question, the one on the other channels that we watch, somebody asks a question. And it blows by. And, and we can't by. do it every night. You we know. can't do it every night, but we want to answer. If you ask us a question, Lori's trying to do other things, and we've got this here so we can't answer your question and it doesn't blow we by. Try we, we try, try to. We try as much as we can to answer everything but, we uh, can. There's some nights when we have guests on and stuff, it's hard to answer yeah, all the questions. Yeah. But well, we're, we're, tonight we're here for you. So no, we're that, that that's time. what we're here for, guys, is we want to answer questions that you may have. Yeah, if you've got questions about the event. Uh, I, anything. I mean, just to, you know, not to, not to toot on the same thing again, but RC Jet Dudes Kid Enoch flew in the middle of the, RC, or the uh, Motion RC demo, 3 o'clock. He gets out there. And he's doing inverted passes with his F-22. He must have got this far off the ground with that F-22 inverted. It was amazing, guys, watching a 14-year-old kid that can fly like that. And he comes by and he's like, I'm going to do a gear pass. And he comes by inverted, puts the gear out, flips it over, and comes in to land. And I mean, we're just like, oh, my God. Dad's starting him out young enough that... He's going to be one of those guys that you see that's, well, I mean, like... Nice he finds Girls or whatever, yeah. Uh, he, but I could see Enoch being yeah, one of those guys that that's Dad goes know, all the sponsored time, so pilot I could see, everything. Yeah, I could see him too. It's going to yeah. take a minute. We also yeah. saw Steve fly his Apache this week. I've actually seen it fly in person. Absolutely amazing. Um, let's see. Timothy Teuton. How about that HSD T33 release? The T33 looks amazing, but I'm not buying a turbine engine. So unless they come out with an EDF version, I will not be getting one. Um, it looks great though. T thirty three have always worked. And Wesley showed me a flight video of up on the main flight line, of which is usually gas and which is quarter scale. There was a guy that line. had like an eighteen foot version of this airplane, and it was nine oh nine. And there were well, and then we've been talking about it that we have in process to build a B twenty nine, which has got a. Uh, the same same wingspan. It's going to be huge. But but there were two of them. There was the B seventeen, and there was a Lancaster. A Lancaster that, bomber. That, that when we release the video on that one, you that'll gotta be really watch neat, that yeah. one. That'll be a neat one to watch, guys. If uh, you guys ever have a chance to go to Joe Nall is the one I'd really recommend. If you want yeah. to fly, go to Fall Nall. If you want to go see the craziest airplanes you've ever seen, go to Joe Nall. 
That's what I tell you. The big difference is fall and all is it's for fly. Is for fly. You it's, don't have as many. There's not near as many people. You don't have to fight to get out to a station. Um, but when we went to the one, Joe and all, I it, mean, there is a lot. Of you, if you want to see things, you want to see manufacturers, you giant see scale, giant scale airplanes. But what I what I want to get back to is those Sorry. two planes that was electric. Now we. Yeah. Two or three years ago, you would never seen an electric Eight airplane on the main line. Right. You are now seeing electric airplanes crossing over to where they've never been before. Yeah, I mean, the they they just four engine airplane. If you lose two engines, you're, yeah, you're SOL. Especially on the same most side. Most of the time anymore. And so most of those guys that are doing gigantic airplanes are going electric now because they're sure. so reliable. Wow. The only thing you don't have is sound. I mean, you know. And, and they've you, got sound cards. If you, want it, if you want to put sound on them, you can have sound on it. Yep. So what the heck, guys? I mean, I just... Can, oh, I, you have to upload it? You can't play it off of... Uh, so, the other oh, thing is that we normally have you some uh, issues with our sound system. Yeah, I think you did it out of We have bought, bought a brand new, very expensive oh. microphone, and hopefully you can hear Papa, because no, most of the time you guys are saying we can't hear Papa. So, <laughs> Papa invested in a microphone, so hopefully we do not have the... The issues we've had in the it. past as far as the sound system. But it, we are the Merry Boozers, so. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Know. <laughs> yeah, hopefully the microphone is not cutting out anymore. We did buy a new, like he said, we invested in a new microphone this week. We've got a new setup going on on the microphone situation. So hopefully you can hear Dad now, um, and, and it's not cutting out anymore. So, yeah. I keep seeing everybody. The T33, if they do a 105 EDF, I'd love it. But when I looked at it last time, they said they were only doing it in a jet version right now. So um, I'm not in a big hurry to get one. Hello, that Ryan Ramsey. Part support for HSD airplanes is kind of. I try and say this as nice as I can, guys, but you know, I've told you from the beginning I want to be honest with you. I love my Super Viper, but if you go out and dink a wing, you don't buy a wing for it. You've got to buy a whole kit to get a new piece. You can't buy a part for that airplane. So go into an HSD airplane knowing that you're not going to buy parts for it. Be very confident in your flying. Um, if you need spare parts, go on and plan on buying an entire kit version of the airplane. And it's going to cost you about five to $600 just to buy the so kit. So you're going to really want to fly that You airplane. really want to fly it. Um, you know, and there's nothing cheap about it. Now, I've seen Rich Baker fly his HSD Super Viper. It's amazing. And it's a great flying airplane. I don't think I'm going to have a problem with crashing a lot of it. And if you're a pretty confident pilot, I think you're going to really no, enjoy your HSD RC airplane. RC said that he... Yeah, oh, is thinking that they're going to bring out a big tw B-25 and a big, bigger B-17. I'd love to see it. Um, and I I really believe that the They're only going to get bigger. And the, and the right reliability of the electrics has only got one way to go, guys. I really believe that it's just going to get it's going bigger to get bigger and bigger and bigger, bigger. yeah and and that airliner guys in person it's crazy how big that airplane actually is it's like seven and a half foot when you stand it up it stood over me like this high i mean that plane is huge it's bigger than the carbon z 28 yeah oh really it's bigger i think i think that airliner might be the biggest foam airplane that's ever been made well and, and you know i <sighs> I haven't you know, put one up beside my Carbon Z, but I'm telling you, I'm standing up and the plane's up I here. I would on the love nose. to have a big B-25. B-25 I mean, is still my thing. I'd love to have, it's the only Banana Hobby airplane I've ever wanted was, was that, that B-25, the big one. But I think it's coming. I think, I think I, but I'd rather right. wait and see it from a better manufacturer. I, I, no I, offense, no uh, offense but, but Banana Hobby is not one I would recommend to you guys. Um, I'd like to see it from Hobby King or, or uh, uh, Free Wing or Motion RC or Horizon, any of the any of the big comp big, big three. 
that I like to buy from would be would be neat. An awesome plot. A big V twenty five. And they're coming, guys. I guarantee. It's only a matter of time. I don't know anything, but it's it's only a matter of time. I mean, it it really is. Um, I mean, who would have thought we'd have a gigantic airliner now? I would. You know, never in a million years. When they told me that was what was coming, I couldn't believe it. And I thought, you know, I didn't really. I, I didn't really agree with it, but now that I've seen it Seen fly, it and see it fly, it flies great. And the potential for other airliners or other The other thing is you can customize it, yeah, too. Yeah, the, the customization is endless on that airliner. You can, I mean, you can it's going to come, from what airliner. I understand from talking to Alpha and James this week, it's going to come with one graphic on the tail. Right. And then it's going to come with the windows down. So your customization is going to be, you've got to cover the tail. And then do whatever you want to the future. Cali Graphics better be. Um, Cali Graphics is going to have to ramp up. Yeah. She's going to be. Talk to, uh, okay, so he wants me to talk uh, about Cali Graphics a little bit. So but, we're working currently with her uh, on a project. We're going to have a boozer section on Cali Graphics now where you're going to be able to go in and buy our nose art. We don't put our more risque stuff on our t shirts, um, but we see. If you wanted to have a naked girl on the front of your airplane, nose art, nose art style, they're going to be tasteful, but you know, a girl on a bomb or whatever, we, been, we're going to be putting those up with Cali Graphics in conjunction with her, and you're going to be able to go on and support us and Cali by buying our graphics. We are in the process of getting her the graphics right now. I just got back from the event. Uh, but there's going to be all of the squadron patches you've come to love made into stickers because they make great nose art. And we're also working with her on getting the girls. Papa girls are going to be turned into nose arts. So if you want a nose art for your airplane, you'll be able to get a Papa girl for it. Yep. So we are currently getting that done. I do not have an exact time on when it's going to happen. But we've been or asking price that. Or anything, but a lot of guys have been wanting stickers. And I've worked with Callie on it. We didn't. We couldn't figure a way for us to do it. And well, I said, we well, well who's a better a person? Who's a better person for us to team up with than the girl that makes them for all oh. your airplanes? So already? if you go to get graphics for your airplane, then you could get a, a, custom, a custom boozer girl. Boozer girl to, and, and hopefully Callie, we haven't talked about all this, but she's probably going to make the girls size correct. Well, the size of airplanes, maybe. Hopefully. Did I miss you know, something? If you get a size Holy cow. Airplane. I just missed it. Fred, thank you so uh, much again. So, uh, your super chat. I mean, this guy super chats us every week now. Fred. Fred, and you, then, you're the greatest, man. Fred's the one that sent us the Stuka part. It's over here. Oh, yeah, I forgot yeah, to give it to him. Well, I told him I got it the other day. Hey, look, 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 look. I'm going to give it to him right now. I got an old Stuka, and I spread it around, and the thing came off. And you can't get this thing anymore. I mean, we got it. Well, we got it. So that reminded thank you, me. Thank you, thank you. That's uh, so now we gotta get it out and fly it. Yeah, gotta get it out and fly that thing. Uh, I love that plane, but uh, but we 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 well, like I've said to you guys. You asked. We're going to try to give it to you if we can uh, on that kind of thing. And and, and I've done so many of those. Papa Girls, I did it on the A-10. Uh, no, yeah, the, he hand-painted it on there. On, on the, that one, and I did it on the, the that Twin Boom jet. Yeah, he did it on my... Uh, uh, you know what's so funny about... talking about that Twin Boom jet. He's talking about the Venom. Venom. There we go. The Venom, James had the newest Venom out there with the new motors and everything. I think I flew that actually more than anything. I, and I'll stand by it. I said it in the Venom video. I think that's the easiest EDF to fly. And at Joe Nall, I flew one for almost 15 minutes. Just for giggles. And, and I was like, I'm going to see how long I can fly this airplane for. And I'd do like one fast pass and then I'd glide it for forever. And I think I flew that Venom almost 15 minutes. And I know for a fact there was guys watching that that were in love with that airplane. I'm just, I, I and we handed off to some people. I, I'm, I'm gonna, I can't see it. We I'm, got a sensor in or what? Oh, no, you don't got a sensor. Have her. sensor but you can top view Wesley, uh, it. Uh, Wesley, Lord's doing something else. She's trying to get something ready. But here, and, uh, here you go. Let me. I'll lay it. Now, nah, here. Uh, let's see it. Top but, view for but, a second. But this will be Our subscriber thing's gone, Lori. This will be a nose art girl. Look at that girl. 
This, this is what we're talking about. Like, we're going to have stickers of, like, this. And she could go on the front of your airplane. airplane and, and, and I call her Peggy Sue, so I don't know if Lori's going to... I've quit doing... Most of my girls Let me have see here. Let's motion see. RC on... I mean, uh, Mary Boozer I got I got to censor her. But, yeah, this is a patchy girl. Well, what Imagine her without anything on, though. <laughs> well, anyway. Yeah, I mean... I'm, I'm doing this kind of stuff, guys, because... Or like that on the front I, of your airplane. I mean, Wesley Just went... Just you can imagine what's under my finger, though. To Nall, and there was a lot of people that had put our Barry Boozer sticker yeah. on every plane they had. So we're thinking that you guys want some of this stuff, and, and I'm able to do things that I think that you would like to have. So I'm trying to get through all the dirty ones so I can actually get to We'll tell you show. on the... On the channel, when they're up and available, uh, and hopefully will be maybe in the next two to three weeks. And if you like them a lot, there you go. There's another one. We have a lot. Show the stack of that stuff. Over I mean, there. there's another one, guys. So you can see her being a nose art on an airplane. Show them the stack. I need that. Well, yeah. I mean, we're, we're only going to put up maybe yeah, I mean, ten of the. Uh, we're going to put them up a little at a time, but we've got this stack. You of, see that stack of those? I can't thumb through them because they're kind of. Some of them are a little more risque but than others. If, if you enjoy them, but like you this buy one them, right here, put more of them like up this there. is the wasps, but it would still look neat as a nose art on an airplane. Yeah, and hopefully she will do. Like I say, she Let's was she's me, gonna make these look off available in certain sizes that would fit these B seventeen or, or or any of your stuff. You can you can put them on a jet. I mean, but these are legitimate war ones right here. So we're gonna make these as nose art, like the cottontails. Yeah, I did the well looking for that. Uh, I'm trying. I'm looking that, through here uh, for Indian that I just got through doing. Here's the this is another one right here. Yeah, well, these are all squadron patches. These here. are actual squadron patches from World War II, but I think they'd make cool nose art on the front of planes. Oh yeah. And these are the ones that he's hand painted, but we're going to turn these into graphics now, so you can make it. You know, like here's the Tuskegee Airmen. <laughs> that was the Tuskegee Airmen squadron yeah. patch, but it still makes a neat nose art. Pair of jugs for the jug. Yeah, you need a pair of jugs well, for your jug. Well, that's You can put them on the jug. I mean, that's true, right? Put them on whatever you want. Put, show the uh, Indian that I just. I'm uh, trying to two, find it. There's two Indians. They're all back there in the in the ones like that. Yeah, trying to find it. There's lots of girls that I can't show on camera. I like this one. Sometimes you gotta have the larger ladies too. You know. Yeah. Uh, uh, Can't forget uh, about yeah. your bigger ladies, too. You like big size lady? I got them. I'm not discriminatory. Not everybody likes a little bean pole. Somebody likes something with a little bean on them. That's a troop carrier squadron patch. Okay, here's the new one. I found it. So, like, this is a brand new one that he yeah, just finished. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, it, it, that little Indian's pointing up here, come on up here, I'll kick your ass, is what he's saying. Yeah, come on up. I like that one. This one's cool, too. I like this one. Yeah. I think yeah. that's a bomber squadron, if I remember right. I can't remember. I, I ride them on the back of them. Um, yeah, that one's new. There's another one or two behind it. I'm trying to keep them all separate. So any guys. of this stuff could go in your airplane. You guys have got the uh, yeah, like feel for it. And if if there's going, we'll probably re release ten of the squadron patches, and we'll release about ten of the girls, and we will uh, see how it goes. So you got to go out there and buy them, guys. If you want some more of these things out there, this variety, you got to buy some of the other ones. Now. We're going to let Callie do her thing as far as what the prices are. She's in the business of pricing them, so I can't tell you what the prices are. You'll have to wait till she does her thing. Uh, on, uh, I mean, we're turning over the nose art to her, uh, the artwork to her. It's going to be her opinion of what we price them at. So, I love the squadron patches, personally, just because you get the history with them. You missed this one. 
I'm just kind of putting them out there. Squadron patch. Here's style. the here's the cheap. I like I like this one too. Anybody like this one? Can you see it? Yeah. Wouldn't that look good on the front of your airplane? What do you think, guys? Tell me what. Yes, no. Wab it. Yeah, wab it. Mmm, risque. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, they'll, they'll be girls. They'll uh, they'll be naked girls. N none of them that. Uh, all of them are just uh, the top part. Well, there might be one or two that's got the bottom part, but very little. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything. My artwork is art. It is not pornographic. We, it, it, it is the same artwork that you would have seen in World, in World War, War II. II. That's what we were going for. Oh. We're not trying to do porno. We're doing tasteful. Pin up girls. Things. We're doing things that are tasteful that would be correct as far as World in the War period II. of World War II. Yes. So, that, at the end of the day, we're still World War II guys. And we've been doing a lot of jets lately, but really, I'm a Warbird guy. At the end of the day, if I have to choose between a MiG or a Warbird, I'm always going to pick a Warbird for myself. Thank you, well, G Timothy. GB, I, hope, I hope you're right. I hope uh, the boozer boobies are going to be uh, good. I, I know, hope we see them on everybody's I, airplanes. I think it would be hilarious. Is, I want to do this because I want to have people to enjoy their airplanes. Yeah, and make your airplane your own. Own and, and enjoy it and... No, not everybody can do what I can and, and hand do it on the front of your airplane. I understand that. But I want everybody to have the opportunity to have that artwork on the airplane. Just to go that much. Everybody wants to go just a little bit farther with their projects. Well, here's a way to do it. And hopefully I'm the guy that was able to give it to you before you can do that. That's yeah. what I'm shooting for. Yeah, and you can't see it right now. There's warbirds everywhere. You know, speaking of Papa Dots, here, you want to see his latest Papa Dotting? Laura, give me a top well, view for a second. what I like to show you guys is you can Papa Dot anything. 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 So he's been doing my little Mustang. I don't know if it's showing yeah, up. It's showing. For you guys. But you can see he Papa Dotted my little, my little Mustang. Yeah. Check it out. I mean, it and looks I great. It is dirty on the thing. I did a little airbrushing to it. Not a lot, just a little bit. You know, it's still a small airplane. We're not going to go completely crazy, but, you know, with that little bit. I, probably, I mean, it really dressed this plane up. I probably and it, did that. I did my own. Two hours. Backwards. Watching TV. I did my own artwork on the side of it. Whoops, bumped it. But you guys need to, if you want to take. But it really dresses it up. Another level. Dude, thank you, thank you guys. Thank you guys for all the super, the chats. super chats. I mean, it's stuff like that that makes us do this every week, be able to do it. You know, yeah. we got a new microphone. This stuff costs money to do, and, and we want to make the best show we possibly can for you every week. And it's thanks to donations like that that make it possible. I, I love, I can't believe that we've gotten to the point where you guys enjoy us enough to even do what you're doing right, for us. Right, I mean, right. it's crazy to me every week. Um, and I do believe in giving back to the community. Um, all so. this is what, all this artwork and, and Wesley's flying and all this, is, we're not trying to, <laughs> we, we don't have any tries to get right rich. On. Oh yeah, it'd be great if some way we, you know. Could do it one day. But, you know, we would love to, for Wesley to be doing this 24-7. Man Cave Chronicles, thank you very yeah. much, sir. Yeah. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. You've but, been in here a few times. Okay, uh, you're already here, been been here a few times. We've okay. got our live subscriber count thing. Lori doesn't have it on the screen right now, but we're trying to build it. Here it comes. Ah, there it is. Trying to build it every week. That thing is going to automatically go. We'll put that up from time to time, guys, just because it's kind of fun. Uh, As we grow... The community grows every you know, we, week. We, the we, Boozer family gets better and another better. Another thing we've done is tried the shirts. We gave you the shirts. Now, for some of you new guys that have just joined the channel, some of you guys are old guys, but we do have, yeah, we have a the place where you can go shirts. get the squadron patch shirts. Oh my gosh, again. And uh, You guys you are get, killing me if tonight. If you want this kind of shirt, these, these are Papa's, uh, uh, but most of these are, we do have some girls on the shirts. You guys are killing me tonight with the super so, chat. So, you guys, there is a place to go and get your shirts if you like these shirts. You see, Dave Kowiski just gave us an, uh, another donation. 
Thank you, okay. man. It's well, a, Dave Quist is the one that actually asked us to make the and another B24, one. B24 <laughs> shirt. George Watts, thank you so much. Gosh, guys. Yeah, we, we thank appreciate it. It's the, just, this is crazy to me. Yeah, well, I mean, I we working hard. We're trying to give these guys the honest opinions. We're trying to give them good product. I think that if we're, we're there rewarding us for that, and Guys, I do appreciate it. we really, really appreciate what you do for us. Um, like I said, you, you're giving us the drive <laughs> but, and the uh, to do it every week. You're helping us pay for these because I don't get lots of free airplanes. That's a misconception. I've got three free airplanes since I've started this. And, and I'll be honest with you with every one of them, anytime I do, I got this little P-51. And I got that little jet over there, that little jet over there. I don't really fly it too much because it's kind of special to me now. That airplane was the first airplane that was ever given to me to review on the, the channel. Uh, the uh, uh, Crusader? Crusader. Yeah, the Crusader up there was the first <laughs> airplane ever given to me to review on the channel. I get, I get the Crusader and the... Lori's laughing at me because the, the I was flying the Intruder at Fall and All. Uh, and I got funny. the Intruder and the Crusader, Crusader. backwards. Every time I talk about it, we go to film it. Talk about the intruder without saying crusader. Every no, time we film the crusader, no, whatever it is, I get them backwards. Lori was like, "No, no, no! It's the wrong freaking airplane. <laughs> Start over again." Uh, <laughs> you, know, you know, I'm always proud, proud of myself about knowing about airplanes we, over the, the years. But when you start doing what we're doing, you. I, I, I started to think I was getting older, but I kind of run them together too. And when I was younger, I wouldn't have done that. Dave, thank you. And Dave is, is, a, is a good example of somebody asking us for something and us coming through with... Dave asked us for one of these shirts I big that foot. was... And the Bigfoot now. I forgot about the Bigfoot too. Yeah, Ryan that, bought that, us that Bigfoot. It is slowly starting, guys, to take off this whole thing. So there I is completely a forgot shirt. about that. Ryan, yeah. Pilot Ryan, purchased that Bigfoot for us. I want y'all to all know that. Um, I did not get that airplane or anything. Pilot Ryan went out of his way to buy that airplane for us to review with him. And then we have a big thank you to him. If you decide to get one, make sure you go through his link. Yep. He can drop it in here for you right now if you want a Bigfoot or a... Marlin or anything that Arrows makes, go through his link. Come on, Ryan, drop it in the chat. Um, feel free to. We we love Pilot Ryan. We've worked with him so much lately. It, Ryan is it's, is a leader in this world of uh, RC reviews and live chats. Uh, you guys that wow. haven't went through and seen. Wow. Thanks, Dave, Christy. Uh, uh, if you haven't you went over to see Pilot wow. Ryan on Saturday nights, you need to get there because the community goes there first to uh, to see what's the ins and outs of this. Can you put the thing back up for us? I or would are you think. still typing? I've all, Thank I, you, David Christie. Yeah. You're the one with the flying pancake. You were at Fall and All, right? Yeah, that's him. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's great to see you at Fall and All on Lori Work Her Butt Off while you're getting to fly. Don't think we don't notice that. Thank you, Dave, and, and it was great seeing you guys. I'm sad I didn't get to see the pancake fly again. And Papa wasn't there. I know that he wants a Spitfire so bad he can't stand it. <laughs> oh, okay, he says, hope to get, okay. EQRC says, hope to get my hanger wrap shirt this week. Do we have a hang? No, no, that's yeah, going to be coming from Ryan. And yeah, it's no, all good. Do we have a hang? Oh, he does have. They, uh, Ryan he's got like the. Uh, uh, he, yeah, he's, he's, he's got a rat, rat shirt. shirt. Uh, hey, and if you got the hanger rat shirt, you need to get. <laughs> How your, about that combat video? Did you get it ever you, by any chance? It's still, you, it's still loading. It's. You need. To we're working your, on it, Steve. We didn't have it pre-done. We want to get the combat video up. Lori's looking right now. It's got about 20 minutes left. Uh, I doubt got, we're going to get it up tonight. We will got, upload the combat video. And we'll have it ready next week. Cake. Now, wait a minute. If you got the hanger rat shirt, you've got to have the stick and monkey patch shirt, too. That's right. you, you got to have them both. Because he made the stick and monkey uh, patch shirt. So, you where missed he's holding the little elevator. EQ... RC, you need to go back and get the stick of <laughs> monkey pants shirt. 
Nobody yeah. can have just the rat shirt. You gotta have the, if you got a rat shirt, you gotta have the stick of monkey pants. I, I just can't believe I'm looking at the live chat right yeah. now. And guys, you have just how, poured out to us this week. How many do we have? Thank y'all so much. Tell, anybody know how many we have? I have no idea. Lord, does it tell you how many we got in here? Anybody know somebody? 56. Thank y'all for all the support yeah. though. Fifty six. Fifty six guys in here. That's great. I, thank y'all so much. You're the same guys we see every week. It's becoming like a little family. They pop into Dave's, they pop into Ryan's, they pop into ours. It's becoming a, a little family here over the Thanks, weekend. Thanks, Rick so. and Royce, for the purchase of the shirt. Uh, I hope you love it. Uh, Ryan, our phone boy wants a link to the shirt. Ryan, drop it in there for him. Yep. Feel phone free. Boy, you got, yeah, you got to get the stick of monkey. Dave's RC, did you see what I'm wearing tonight? Huh? Eh? Huh? Eh? Go it? by on Friday nights eh? and say, see Dave's Look RC. Look at my shirt. Eh? Yeah. Fly free or dad. 57. We appreciate it, guys, for coming by. 60 now. There 60 now. <sighs> Man, it, it's just fun. And I, like I said, the community. Oh, Holy <laughs> cow. Look here. Man, thank you, MCSSI. Oh, man, it's just crazy. Mike money for Mike. Yeah, <laughs> I appreciate it. I don't know who Mike is, but this we're here. particular microphone Mike was not Oh, cheap. for the microphone. Yeah. It wasn't the cheapest mic. You know, I, I went off of Ryan's recommendation. I know you guys can always hear him good. This is the same microphone that Pilot Ryan uses. And I know that he hadn't had any issues out of it. He, we got the Blue Yeti, uh, not the Snowball, it's actually the Yeti. Um, and they're not the cheapest microphone in the world. We, we went on ahead and dropped a little coin on that one, but it seems to be working really well. You guys can hear us well tonight by the sound. Can you hear Papa now? That's the big question. Yeah, everybody was always can saying, Can you hear Papa hear now? Yeah, can y'all hear me now? Am I, oh, well, and while, while I'm doing this, like I say to you guys, we really pay attention to what you ask for. Now, Papa is kind of on the Holy side of the cow. artwork. <laughs> Papa's, on, killing me tonight. Papa's on this side of the artwork. I'm going to start so crying over here. Know of some kind of artwork you would like to have that we don't put up, tell us what it is. If I haven't made it, I'll make we'll it right and we'll get it on there for you. The Dave, man, thank you so much. Dave's RC. Go check him out. Got his shirt on tonight. Yep. Y'all are going to make me cry tonight. I mean to tell you, this is just crazy. The support well, we're getting. You know, we, 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 another thing we do on this night is we've had a lot of people that are very uh, uh, popular in, the sport, in this RC. I've got some that, neat guests. I know where he's like, going with this. Well, I've got I mean, some GB really Linden's neat guests. Uh, GB is one of the largest. He's uh, a pretty big channel right channel. now. But I've got I've got some special guests lined up that I have not even told him about that I've well, been working I with mean, that I am excited guys just, to have on the channel. Just so you guys know that the new guys that have subscribed to us within the last week and maybe be on here that we do bring in these guys and interview some of these people that you might be already looking at. Uh, so you can and be surprised. At speaking of GB Linden, he's he's not on the right channel right now, but he has a new channel that's uh, Uncle Ryan's Toy Shack. I think GB drop a link to it. He's trying to get that channel growing right now. If you go over and check it out, if you're looking for some toy reviews, go check him out too. GB's always been good to us though. Yeah. He comes in and he hangs out with us. He'll interview about anything. Go check out his new channel, guys, if you got a few minutes. I know it's not going to be for everybody, but if you have time, go look at it. Oh, yeah. A guys, simple crazy. Army Air Corps shirt. A simple Army, Army Air, Air Corps. Corps. But what we really would like to do, now you said this, but what we would really like to do is find somebody that we could make a... Okay, so one there. Expensive jacket that is an A2. Lori said something that's a request. Okay. Make a 909 shirt. A 909 shirt. Okay. We can yeah, I could see that. They said something. It's a, a, an honor shirt for the 909. Right. Maybe put the name of the guys on it that were in the airplane. I haven't made the 909 
artwork, but I can do that. Motion RC's in here tonight. We've been talking all about you guys. Now this your is new not airliner. something that can just happen like that, guys. But if somebody requests yeah, if this want and it, has a very good it. request, and I'll do it. I mean, I, I love doing but, this. And if you think that this is something... Yeah. If y'all ever it. have a request for one of the now, squadron patches, like I said, we're now, working with Callie right now to make these to where you are can Are we talking stickers. about it? Oh, they did say 909. 909. Well, sure. Make sure. a 909 yeah, shirt. Okay, sure. we can like do this. that. Okay. Motion, welcome. We've had all kinds of airliner questions. Too bad you missed part of that. <laughs> we need, we need a community to find my damn F-22. <laughs> That's the truth. Well, hey... James, I don't know if you got to see it or not, but the community came together this week. And for anybody that's getting in late, RC Jet Dude's son, Enoch, also he lost, lost his F-22 in that whole deal. Uh, it was a terrible situation, but the community has come together. And through a GoFundMe account, through Facebook, we were able to raise enough money to get Enoch his new F-22 already. So... So guys. if you want one, you could go out there and do the same thing Enoch did. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, but for real, thank you to all the community work, that but... came through for that. I know I saw Kevin Farros in there, uh, everybody. Guys, thank y'all so much for helping Enoch yeah. get a new airplane. Yes. That, that, that that's was, huge. That great, that's guys. cool. So, I mean, so, it, it so. puts faith back in the RC community that something like that could happen. And, and I, I just, I was in love with that story that you know, from something so bad to something so good could happen. And and Steve Hodges, we love you here at the Mary Boozers channel and your whole family. We've always enjoyed the, the whole week with you guys. We absolutely loved it. I wish Papa could have been there to hang out with us. I know Lori and Enoch had so much fun. Every time Lori <laughs> got to cook something, Enoch was in there and he was like, how are you cooking that? How are you doing that? <laughs> so Lori was just had a ball with it too. I, I, it didn't, the, Papa didn't want to go, guys, but if, if, if you old guys know that I went on a long trip and I just didn't want to get in another vehicle at this time. I just didn't have it in me to go. But I will be there next next spring if the good Lord wants yep. me to hang around. Papa will be at Joe Nall next year. Anybody that wants to I'll meet him, there. just go on and plan for Joe Nall because the boozers will be there. Yeah, and we, we will. We uh, out of all the events, we will not probably miss. And I, all. James, I haven't forgot about you guys. If you haven't seen the pictures yet, go on Facebook. We're looking for this F twenty two. It's the only one like it. So whoever stole it didn't know what they were getting. But James had had a gentleman at Fall Nall put LEDs from one end to the other of that thing. It was beautiful. He had done a star in the bottom and red, white, and blue across it. And then the wings had the Motion RC logo and lights. It was nuts to watch it fly. But he lost that airplane due to some kid stealing it. And it's just uh, a terrible thing. So it, go yeah. on there. Look at it. If you see it anywhere on the internet, tell James. Tell Motion RC. Tell whoever you have and to. I think I've seen somewhere that that was the first incident of any... There's been some small theft there, but nothing, nothing like, like that. Nothing like airplanes or uh, nothing like that. Yeah, that's a very rare incense. I think it was somebody that was not an RC or somebody just came into the event. And well, did that. And, and and you know, motion. There you has go. So Lori's putting a picture of it up right now. Motion has so many. If you airplanes, see that airplane yeah. here, guys. If yeah. you see that airplane anywhere, report it to Motion RC. That's the only one like it in the world. So if you see that, look at look at how awesome it was though. I'm so disappointed that he didn't get to ever take that anywhere. He got a couple flights on it. It was absolutely amazing watching it fly. Look at that. It's like a collapsed star walking around out there. I mean, it was nuts. We were at the 3D line. So nobody and when else he, has one. But when he took that off, I was at the 3D line, about a mile away from where they're flying it, and we could tell that was James's airplane flying around. It was nuts. And I, James, I hope you have video to share with everybody. I can't wait to see it. I know you were flying it all over the place. It's just, it's a sucky situation. I hate that it ever happened. But guys, uh, thank you at least for helping get the 14-year-old Enoch. And Ethan, brand new airplane. just to answer your question, there is just you can camp any way you want to at oh, Nall. Man. I mean, from you can from have a tent, the, you can have your RV, you can have hookups. You can well, have hookups. well, it's kind of hard to get a hookup. Hookups at Joe Nall are not as easy to get no, as they are at no, Fall Nall. No, well, uh, 
But, they had empty spots at but Pono. you can you can camp in a tent you can camp in a in, a, in your own camper you can you can we camp any way you want to so and there's plenty of room for you so there's no worry about can I camp there just the type of quality camping is the question yeah hey if, if you've never been like I said put it on your bucket list guys if you're an RC guy you need to either go to Joe Nall or fall Nall. Joe Nall, like I said, if you want to see everything and anything, but if you want to fly at the event, fall oh, no. Nall. If you're an electric guy, now, I, let, I really let, enjoy let me flying say this. at it. There, um, all these new airplanes, Motion's going to be releasing their videos in the in the next few weeks. Coming weeks, yes. So you guys want to see it, the, all these planes we've talked about, you need to... Pay real close attention to yeah, Motion. Yeah, make sure you're subscribers to Motion RC, to us. Uh, you know uh, I mean? We will be releasing videos on also. Uh, so, so, I've talked to James about it. I'm going to be putting the Havoc video up in the morning. So, you guys that want to know a little bit more about the Havoc, I was going to do it Wednesday and I just decided, what the heck, I'll go on and put it up tomorrow. So, I'm going to put the Havoc video up in the morning. Um, I absolutely love the Havoc. It was just... It's one of the most stable racers I've ever flown. Um, we have the, the the Hobby King one too, the EFX racer. It's a lot harder to throw the EFX racer than it is this one. This this Havoc, 75% throttle, barely throw it, and the thing goes straight up out of your hand. No stall, no weird thing. It was so fun. We flew the heck out of that thing. and. Me and James were getting good at flying formation towards the end of the week. It was nuts. And the Strike Glider, I had a ball with that. Um, where I had the most fun with the glider, you know, I, my skill level has kind of passed where it's glider time, so I was like, okay, whatever. But we got out there and we're flying formation with it. I was having as much fun with that glider as I was having as with anything else. Because me and James, I mean, we were on top of each other. I was everywhere. The video. I we were, the video. I mean, it just staying really right good. with each other. It was so and, much and fun. It, you know, it, you know, if you slow them down, they're probably a little bit easier to do. Oh, it's a lot easier to fly for yeah, with them gliders <laughs> than is anything else. 51, I mean, you can go back. Uh, we released a video about two weeks ago where we was flying the two Boston Toss the. P50 yeah, me and Dad flew FW190, FW190 and the door. We did all right, and... but it's still, you know, it's it's uh, you you gotta to me if you're going to be a fly formation, you gotta have one guy. <laughs> James, that, I've never had that much fun with a glider ever, and I agree. I mean, we were just having a great time with that. I, I try to fly as slow and docile as I can, and let Wesley do the catching up and do the rolls and started to stay up with me so but james and wesley didn't have they had to do it every once in a while but not all that much so man if, it was if you guys want to do a formation thing watch this video and james since you're in here thank you so much for the opportunity to do what we did this week i had an absolutely wonderful time i know Lori did too um, the experience of flying that airliner was absolutely amazing uh, wheelie for days. Ah! If y'all haven't seen the video oh, yeah, on Motion's website right the now of the airline. Oh my ah. god. James in the background. I come in and I'm doing a wheel and he's like, oh my god, look at the lights, look at the lights. Ah! And it's just, I laugh every time I hear it. Go watch that video. It was hilarious. It is out, isn't it? It's out. Uh, yeah, the airliner video is right there on Motion RC. You can't miss it. It's the, it's the, yeah, that, that's but great. James flipping out in the background was just the funniest thing I've ever see seen. That one. And uh, like I say, you, uh, uh, nobody knows what the price is. Like James tells everybody, it'll come in the in the uh, coming weeks. Right they're, now, they're not. They're not even on the water yet. Yeah, they're pre-release the airliner. So and, and this but, is just for you guys to know what's coming. And uh, I think it's great that they even tell us. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, it's awesome that we even know that that's coming. So it's only a matter of time. Lori is going to play it just for a quick second. By the look okay, of it. Okay, so we're going to get. The you got to hear it. If you haven't seen it, we're going to put it up just just long enough for you to hear the James part because every time I hear him it's with right the wheelie, in the front of the motion. it cracks me up so bad. That's right, James. We're going to make everybody laugh at you right now along with you, I, I should say. She's trying to get to it. It's okay. 
Uh, but when are the boozers in motion going to come west? West where? West where, yeah. I don't know. Uh, we, we, uh, we were blessed to be able to do what we've done. We were originally from Texas until yeah. we moved to Florida. So west is Texas. And we came from west Texas. So. All right, so you got sound you too, that. right? Okay. Lori's still getting it ready. Lori's okay. trying to get it well, ready. Well, anyway, guys, I, I, I just have had just such a wonderful experience this week. This is a dream come true. I don't want y'all to think that I, in any way, am not grateful for the experience I was given. Um, this was a dream come true for me. I've, I've always dreamed of going to a show and flying for a company. I mean, that's well, absolutely here, amazing. Here, okay. Has it got sound, Lori? Okay. She's just making sure She's it was just working. making sure. But the other thing that I want to say on camera, and I called uh, Wesley and I called Lori, and I, I wanted to say to Wesley and Lori that they've worked very hard for the last year to get where they did this last weekend, and I was very proud of both of them because it took a lot of effort for all three of us to be able to be at Nall and do what Wesley was doing. I mean, Wesley started a long time ago with a skill level to be able to fly these airplanes. He started at 12 years old. 13. Well, he's 12. I was good at crashing but, at 12. But, uh, no, he was good at crashing at 10. 12, you started listening. <laughs> but anyway, it doesn't yeah. matter. I mean, it, 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 it all depends on what you want and how you get there. But we've all... We had a little bit of slack when we moved to Florida. Uh, and Wesley went to college. There was a, a, a delay there, but uh, and I was really through with it. And I'm glad that we came back to the sport of RC. I always loved it. But to have all the family involved with something that we all, I think we all love what we're doing, but it really is meaningful when it pays off and seeing your kids enjoy what they're doing and that's where we are you and know I'm very proud of both of them so the I'm other neat thing that, about all this and, and thank you dad and, and I kind of broke down and joined off for a minute there when he called me on the phone and was like I'm so proud of you and stuff but to be able to do this with my father you know um we weren't always this close, Dad. There was time for Well, we I mean, I'll, I'll, you know, when you have, uh, uh, but most to, of the time, the, the father is closer to the daughter and the and the son is closer to the mother. And we, I don't care what, we went through scouts and we went through. But there was a time in our lives where me yeah. and Dad drifted apart a little bit. And, but That's we've really we come to be, I mean, I'd say me and Dad are best friends now. I mean, we do everything together anymore. He's at our house three or four times a week now. Um, I did the same thing with my father. When I was, I mean, I was a teenager and I wanted to be, out, he wanted to be out there chasing the four-legged deer and I was wanting to chase the two-legged deer and we just wasn't anywhere close to each right. other. But, you know, the thing is, is when you kind of, your, your, your lifestyle comes to come together, that's when you really see the thing and that you start to enjoy. Th this you. is the funny part to me. Think about this when I was like 14 or 15, flying airplanes out there. Did you ever think no. in a million years no. this is what we'd be doing now? No, I would have never guessed this. It's playing just, with airplanes. I'll, I'll never forget the day that he came to me and says, Dad, we, I'm going to want to do a, 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 a <laughs> channel. Let's, let's do a YouTube and channel. Go, and he goes, what? what? I don't see myself being on TV at all because I don't have the greatest voice in the world for uh, this type of thing, but I do have the passion for the sport. So I get, hopefully that makes up and uh, for, for me being here and sitting in this chair. And it's the difference in how he talks to the camera now versus when he started. Uh, 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 uh. You know, guys, when, when that camera turns on, it's, it's, it's nerve-wracking a little bit. The worst bit thing first. you can do is watch yourself back on this t and you're going, oh my God, do I look like a hit? I mean, oh. But uh, all I can say is if you if you really want to try this, guys, turn on the camera and see how well you do. Yeah. And then watch yourself and you'll go, oh, I can't It's do this. just, uh, we're so happy to. But, so, but, but, I hope James is still in here. Laura, you got it ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Guys, if you haven't seen it yet, we're going to play it for just a few seconds. It's Listen to James in this <laughs> while I'm doing this wheelie. It's hilarious. You so you got good. desktop audio on? Yep. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Uh, okay. Look at the lights. Look at the lights. Ah! <laughs> 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 you can't All right, that's enough. <laughs> so if you want to see the whole thing. Wait, I don't think she put, her, yeah, she put her sound back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> I, I've watched that video like well, 14 times at the beginning. But but that was what he was hoping that you could do with that airplane. His his laugh. If you've never actually been around James, his his way of of talking and his and his thing, it's infectious. You can't help but not have a smile on your face when you're around James. It's hilarious. The guy is super funny. Um, and just a ball of energy the whole well, time. Well, I mean, you can see James has the same passion. As <laughs> He's got do. the passion. You got to be kind of out there to, to play with little planes and do what we're doing. You got to be a little bit in the moment. Out there. Sorry. <laughs> ah, look at the wheel. Okay. I mean, that, hey, man, that's, that's what tells everybody oh. you have the passion if you do stuff like that. If oh you're my God. They're going, well, that was really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, that don't do much. You know, you know you, only RCers could have the passion to enjoy flying. You know, really, I look at it. When I started this. And if you want to see the full video of the airline, the 80s, go over there and look at it because it's hilarious. It was really, you know, the electronic thing was really not as. Today we take this for granted. Back when I started in the 80s, the electronics were not that. And it was, it was, to me, when I started this, I wanted to know how this thing worked. Because it was, we didn't have cellular telephones, and we didn't have all that. Cellular ride, telephones. You know what I'm saying? The electronics. Damn I mean, kids. We, we, we thought. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Thinking Texas of what we're doing. computer thing was great. You would have never imagined doing no, what we're doing when, now. When I started this, can you imagine how much more forward that was back in the 80s? I mean, this was just, uh, uh, but today, young people take this as just for granted. I mean, it's Dave Kowiski was wanting to know if the airliner needs a lot of rudder in the turns. No, actually, I did not use a ton of rudder in that airplane. Um, it really, you kind of turned it and it would just kind of make the turn real nice. Um, not to say you can't use a little bit in it. I could see guys mixing a little bit of rudder, just a little bit. So when you turn, the plane coordinates itself a little bit, but it doesn't need a lot of rudder. It's got it. If you need it, I think it would do a knife edge pass. But we just we didn't push the airplane a lot. We were at a show. It was brand new. We wanted to show it flying scale and pretty, um, just like it was. We did not fly it with a gyro. Um, the airplane is very stable without a gyro. It really does not need one. Not to say you couldn't put one in there if you wanted to get it to just be like, and then coming in perfect. But uh, it really didn't need one. Heath Kit transmitter. Oh yeah, I remember that one. That's the one you had to build. You had to build. <laughs> That's it. what he's saying, Papa. Uh, I remember my dad building an old Heath yeah. Kit transmitter. Yeah, and he had to build it. Now, guys, would you get in this sport if you first had to? You got a transmitter and you had to put it together. Now that's how that started. And then you, well, they actually started before that with an old old escapement radio. That you hit it once and it let a rubber band release and it yeah. go boom, and then you'd release it again and go boom. I mean, could you imagine this? But the old Heath radios, you actually ordered a radio and you had to sit down and solder that thing together. Yeah, I, I've imagine. got I've, I've, one of these days. If I ever get out to my West old Texas. hometown, I have a friend that I started flying with. His name is Charles Busby, and he started his RC career back in the early 60s which we're talking about what we're talking about now and I would like to sit down and just interview the man to let you know about how this RC has progressed over the years and there's a good example I'd like to know how many of you would be in this if you had to put your radio together you had to put your airplane together 
and and learn all that stuff. Uh, that wouldn't be very many people in there. There you go, James. I like that. Now you can be loose in here. Unofficial. He's sneaky down in there now. Ah! Well, George Watts, if you remember the old Heath kids, I hate to say how old you are. I'm RC'd out, though. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, know. I know what you mean. After a week of it, it would guys, been... we I, I guarantee I did at least 100 flights this week at Joe Nall. Or but Fall the, Nall. Or you know, the Nall only, of the Fall, whatever you want to the call it. The only thing that oh, did you get it, Lori? is the, the to get weather. Point, just didn't, I mean, it's hard when Basketball. you're out there sweating the and, and it's just hot loading. to enjoy this thing. Oh, Lori's got something loaded up that I'm seeing in the corner that I cannot wait for you guys to see. I crashed an airplane better than I've ever crashed one. And she's getting it ready. Mm. It's the George game. Watts is 62. Really? I thought Easy. he'd be older than that. Is it, what's going on? I'm trying to read it too. My garage is full of wings and fuses. I couldn't believe how many airplanes James yeah, stuffed in that freaking RV. <laughs> he had my, that thing my, from one my, end to the other full. My friend that had the Heath radio, I'm, he's 76 years old now. So I was thinking that you would remember that far back or, because he, he's 76. Yeah. And I tell you what. I bet you Charles Busby could fly an airplane at 76 as well as a lot of young yeah. kids. Yeah. Well, it's towards the very The problem end. with him is he, when I moved off and the club kind of quit, he he didn't have anybody to fly. Where's that damn plane? Viper? <laughs> it's sitting right over there. I haven't flown it yet, Farmer Rose. I see it. I did film Rich flying his Viper at Joe Nall, or Fall Nall, whatever you want to call it. Um, Every time. Every time I screw it up, whatever. It's Joe Nall, Fall Nall, Fall in the Nall, whatever. Um, I did film Rich flying his Super Viper. I am planning on flying this one soon. Just haven't had a chance yet. Have not had a chance yet. I need another drink. And to go to the restroom. Hey, guys, look what's going to get unboxed soon. We also have an FMS Tiger Cat showing up, so... Uh, Kevin bought it, and he's going to let us unbox it for you guys. So I'm super stoked about that. Papa, answer oh, questions. Mean, answer questions. Uh, there's no questions. Well, talk to the people. No? I, 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 the one thing I never yeah. did fly was control line. I, I, my, my, I, I got a control line airplane when I was about seven years old, <laughs> and I never right. got even to touch it. My father and my uncle got out on a parking lot and it took them about three or four hours to get the thing started and they finally got it started and it went and up in a circle and hit and uh, I started crying and that ended my control line and I never did even get to try it but uh, uh, that was my control line world and I never, I never did do anything until uh, I was uh, the only way, the, the way I got in the RC, I had a brother-in-law that had went to a RC event in my hometown and came back and said, oh man, I seen something you really need to do. And I said, oh yeah. He said, well, I don't know if I can do it or not. Would you consider us going in together and putting this airplane together? And I said, sure. And that's how it started. And it was a, that was in the days that Man, you had to learn everything in the world. And you, I, I, we build on that airplane for a while. The next week, we take it out to the RC field and say, "Okay, we well, no, that's not right. You got to do this over again." We did that for about two months, taking it back and forth, and that's how we learned how to do the RC thing. And then we finally got out there, and uh, we didn't have a buddy box. You pass the box. You didn't have anything like that so you get way up in the air the guy that knew how he's doing he'd get it way up in the air and he'd hand it to you and you'd grab a hold of it and i'd never forget the first time i grabbed a hold of it, my, my foot when he quit, quit shaking and, and, I, and i had it upside down and i'm going here, here. Yeah. i mean it was it was wild guys back in, that was that was in like 81 when i did it, Lori. 
But it was... Uh, so, it was James is, is bragging on the P-51. Yes, we got it on film. We are trying to get it to where we can show it to you right now. Lori's trying to find it in the footage. We have so much footage from Nall right now. She's on the right video. There it is. That's, that's the P-51. So, yeah, that's it. So, she's getting it ready and queued up. It made one of the most satisfying sounds you've ever heard when this plane hit. The guy came across, and I mean, it was just perfect. Turned right into him, and I mean, the plane just stuck together and just crunched. It was great. What, one of the best crashes I've ever seen in person. Wasn't that those old Cox 049s the hardest darn things in the world to start? I mean, I, you could crank them. You, you had a little spring. You, you, you put that yep. spring on and run around and flop it, and you, you break your finger. <laughs> Cut your finger. Guys, I can't wait to start putting the videos out. I think I'm going to have to go to two videos a week now to get all the videos out for Joan Alt. There's oh, that well, okay. many. Okay. To get, we're going to go back to one a week, but I think I'm actually going to do, uh, what was it? What did we say, Lori? We were going to do Well, to give, give Wednesday. Mondays, Mondays and Fridays. No. Or Wednesdays and Fridays. Wednesdays and Fridays now. I think is what our new release schedule is going to have to be for Nall because we have so much footage. We Anybody that was... Somebody that knew who we were, I went up and said, let me film a flight with you. And I'd, I'd stand behind them and let them fly a flight even. So you can see, I mean, the amateur's perspective if you want. Like I said, it, and, and I filmed with so many different guys out there, their flights of their personal airplanes also. And I thought that would be really neat to show other people. You know, other than just the boozers. You see us every week, but I thought it would be really cool to show some of the other guys that you see out here. Um, Steve... Coggins was out there. Yeah. I can't even remember them all. There were so many guys we flew with. Um, and I, I'm so excited to bring you some of that stuff, too, that maybe you yeah, haven't they seen. they would. They'd eat your fingers. Hey, for, uh, hey, Wes and Lori, this is Brad. I met you at Nall in the fall the past Friday. You're Y'all are first I have subbed to on YouTube. Hello to all there evening in the chat room. Welcome, pay it forward. Yep. Hey, it was great meeting you, man. Um, welcome to the channel. I hope you really enjoy it every week. Hey, uh, another thing, and since you're new, uh, you need to go on Saturdays and watch uh, Ryan, and then Ryan. you need to Ryan, check out your, Motion RC. Put your uh, uh, if Dave's you're still RC. here, Ryan. Put your. Uh, we got a whole community of people. We got a in whole here. community. Jeff's to, Custom uh, RC is a great uh, one. Oh, Lori found it. Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready to debut? Anyway, like I said, go check all, all these blue names in here. Most of those guys are channels. If you're looking for other stuff, GB Linden's a great Linden, one. RC. I see him right there. Farmer Rose has a channel. I mean, go check out all these guys. We're, we're kind of like a big family yep. here. Yep. Um, we all kind of hang out. It's a big RC community. I'm going to be quiet because I know y'all want to see the carnage. So this yeah. is, I'm flying the Mustang, but... You can't tell, I mean, it, this is hard. They're going 100 miles an hour, but anyway. <laughs> All right, I'll right. be quiet. Here we go. Let me get the volume up. I hope they got sound. Ah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! That's a good day. Oh, there's that nothing like it. It's like NASCAR. Yep. Good day. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> there it is. Anyway, there's nothing like a crash video. Hopefully, y'all like that. <laughs> we do plan on putting the whole combat video out eventually here. There's just, we're trying to get through all the stuff. Oh, <laughs> that was, you know, but the plane comes I, back. I, I the, gotta, the, the, the funny part about that is I go and get the plane, it's still flyable. I hit five airplanes in that. This little Mustang is one trooper, and it had a prop sticking out the front. James has got it. He took it home with it. But the prop was sticking out of it from the plane I hit. <laughs> it was hilarious. Yeah, combat is so much fun. I've never flown combat until then, and I had a ball doing it. 
So, anyway, yeah, the crowd cheering is awesome, yeah. He stuck a loser sticker on it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you go. Hopefully y'all can see that in there somewhere. The sun got in my eyes. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, I, I had an absolute blast at Nall in the Fall, and I'm so glad Motion brought us out there. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be there. We, we absolutely loved it. And I can't wait to get my new Motion RC airplane out of the box always wanted this one. This one and then a big Starfighter. I'll have to get one of those eventually. The 90 millimeter oh, Starfighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got the small one, which I'm I'm grateful to have that. And we too. hadn't even had a chance to get out there. Because we haven't we even had a chance to fly it. We I've been doing everything well, else. Well, we had that right before you left. We had all that wind that come. Yeah, you know, we had we've hurricanes been all and these everything. Blasted yeah. storms. We Skip had. just got out. You got that video still loaded up? Let's give him it one more time. Come on. <laughs> Everybody loves the crash. Let's show it one more time. Oh, uh, let me get it set up. One more time. Skip, you just got here. We got to show you the, the most epic crash I had at Jonah or Fall. No, Hall. you didn't show. You didn't show the other crash. Was yeah, we're going to leave that one. <laughs> that one. Oh, <laughs> well, that, eventually. That video. Eventually. Another, yeah. video. another one down the line. <laughs> But check this out, Skip. I just saw you getting in here, and everybody loves a crash. So let's show it one more time. Oh, wait. Sounds off. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Run over, run over everybody. We'll, we'll get hey, big then. Hey, you, you'd be big, okay? Yeah, everybody'd love me yeah, if I was yeah, running everybody yeah, over. would be alright. Oh, that was so much fun. Wesley's holding out. Hey, if I'm a Ross's, you got one more than me. We can't show you everything on the first night, guys. We just got back. we got to save stuff for the future. Oh, so. well, that's what I was going to tell them. You guys missed what they were going to do on the last Sunday night, if they didn't have anything to put out, which thank God they did, you was going to have to watch Papa. Yeah, he went to the, the Smithsonian. No, well, no, yeah, the Ubar Hazi uh, in at Dulles Field in Washington D.C. is was going to have Smithsonian a Smithsonian show. At the Smithsonian show, <laughs> Papa. He mixes his words up every once so he gets out there and he's like, I'm here at the Smithsonian Channel. Yeah. <laughs> so you missed that one. But we're yeah. going to be making that in the coming weeks. One night, we're going to do a premiere and let y'all see well, when he went there. It was, was really the a neat thing? episode. What was the other thing I said? I don't Something about an airplane. This I is, can't. It's like, this is uh, a plane every, that this everybody... This is awesome. Yeah. Or, or this is, this a, is the most awesomest airplane yeah. ever. Awesome. Something Fastest I don't know. The most fastest airplane. Yeah, the, airplane ever. I'm telling you, I, I give you real good uh, narrations on this thing, so <laughs> you got to watch and just to have a good laugh while you're watching good airplane. I think good airplane pictures, it's just the narration kind of uh, not there. Right. But, uh, but I did go, and I did make it for you guys, and, there, and I didn't know there was a, a lot more out there on YouTube. So if you don't like mine, there's a lot of others out there. <laughs> well, I thought it was good, and yeah. we'll put it up eventually as a premiere oh, well, where we can all watch it and together. There's, a, there's another along. video that we made a long time ago. One of you guys asked It'll me. It'll happen one day. Well, one of these days, but there's another video, just so you know, that Papa did it. One of you asked me to film... Of, of me painting one of these patches. It's actually in the can, but I keep getting pushed off for other important stuff. Yeah. So, so we will get to it eventually. There is a Papa video of me uh, showing you how to paint a patch if you're not, even if you're not a uh, very artistic person. So that's in the can. I don't know when you'll see it. Whenever Lori, my <laughs> editor, decides that she doesn't have anything to put put out for you. Yeah, yeah. and so Jackson you know, RC Aviation, I hope you see it. We do put out our crash videos. We want y'all to know we're human. We want y'all to see the real thing. It happens. It happens to everybody. If we didn't crash, we wouldn't be real. So we want to show you guys when it happens. Um, 
just the timing on one of them just isn't right right now. Um, one day you'll see it. Uh, but we, we have had some other crashes. Thank I you. crashed three planes at Null, and, and uh, two of them were epic. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. But they'll come with time, that's all I can tell you. Can't give you all the best stuff right from the beginning, right? So it'll come in time. Okay, somebody correct it. It's the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum Ubar Hazi Annex Center at Dulles Airport. Something like that, sure. It's but the Smithsonian. I will That's say what everybody this, knows guys, about. I've, I've been lucky enough to go to the the uh, Air Force Museum in, in uh, Dayton, Ohio. I've been to the Smithsonian, both Air and Space at Washington. And I've also got to go to the Pensacola Navy. They're all awesome. We do have sound right I will say. Oop, I don't think so. I was just making sure she didn't have it on there. Right I don't there. see it. It's yes. just not on there. You're good. Okay, all right. But yes. I will say that that I guess my first favorite one is Pensacola because of the way they have them displayed. You walk right up to them. All the rest of them are kind of like you, you can get close to them. But uh, they're all awesome, guys. If you're airplane guys, uh, and you know that the new one, the one. That, the Air Force Museum just got Mythless Bell, so not too long ago. So that'd be a neat, neat looking thing. Yeah. And, but, and it would have been neat to see the uh, Nola Gay like you did. And you've seen it before. Before it was at the Smithsonian, you saw it yeah. somewhere else, too. Well, uh, I actually knew the lady that found the Nola Gay. And uh, it was at, at Piot Airfield in Pyote, Texas, and was to be melted down. And, and the only reason that airplane got saved is that that lady uh, did, a, did a video of that, and that's how that plane got saved. Uh, she was an editor for our hometown paper, but she was actually at Pyote in West Texas and found that airplane. But the, fir the, the first time I actually seen the Danella Gay in, in person, was when we were in Washington D.C. and it happened to be at the right, it was somewhere in the 90s, and they were doing the 50th anniversary of World War II, and and the Air and Space Museum had it in there, but they only had the fuselage. They couldn't get the whole airplane in there, but they they just had the Anola Gay nose section in there, and that was kind of neat. You could actually mm -hmm. kind of walk up to it, but. Now it's in the one at Dulles. The whole airplane is all together. And you know something, guys, they have, it's, it's up on the second, you have to go on a mezzanine to actually look at the airplane. But they've, had, they've got all this plastic because people do not like that airplane because of what it represents. So they've had a lot of vandalism, people throwing things at it. So uh, that's kind of interesting to know, but. Uh, uh, it's all of what you think about what that represents. I, I kind of think it represents a lot of men that would have got killed if they hadn't dropped the bomb. But, I mean, I wasn't there at that time, but uh, I could understand uh, the, the, uh, the attitude at the time when you lost so many people. And uh, you talk to them, and a lot of those guys didn't have a problem. But we'll get off of that. that anyway, another rabbit yeah. hole. It's another rabbit hole. The Guys, chat stopped? Nah, I don't think it has. But I've had a wonderful time. And I just wanted to get on here tonight. We've got to keep it going. Every week. Um, you know, we talked about not doing the show tonight and doing the premiere. But I was like, i got to go live. Every week. We've kept it up for so long now. Yep. i got to keep going. And, uh, anyway. Is everybody that I'm watching what? Is it still good? Are we having issues? Are we no, good? No, we're fine. Oh, huh. I'm crazy. That anyway, guys. Hey, I'm so glad we've done this. I'm I'm so glad we started the YouTube channel. You know, it's a lot of work every week doing it, but uh, we really do enjoy it. And it's literally like coming on and hanging out with our buddies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, hanging out with you guys, and and it's funny to me. These little toy planes bring so many people together you know going to an event like fall and all you know it's 
Yeah, I, I never did. It's I, toy planes, but we're having such a good time together. I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just, uh, it's funny. The, one of the things I'd like to ask you guys before we leave, we, we showed you the, the, the squadron patches and the nose art. Is that something you guys are going to like? Is that something that you would would be interested in buying if you go to Cali? To, is it kind of give me a yes, no, maybe, whatever? Would you answer that question on your so we can see your answers? Is that something you guys would like? <laughs> Am I tired? It's GB Lennon. Are you tired, Wes? Yes. Very. It has been a very long week. We were 98 degrees every day. Just, I know RC Jet he dude's in here too. He's got to be just. He's on the table. He's Kyle just Ruf, got to. wants to know who the manufacturer of this plane. This was a nitro planes kit. This airplane hasn't been in production for probably three or four years now. Um, this is the old nitro planes 909. I had it, and with everything that's happened this week, I figured we'd put it up on the table. Uh, we might go out and try and fly it as kind of a tribute flight to the guys. Um, and this week I will be making a 909, 909 patch. And we'll try to get you a 909 t-shirt. And Everybody's saying yes to the Papa Girls. Okay. Well, that's that's what I want to know. I mean, uh, I, I, I think they would do well. And if, and if, uh, well like Fred said, Barron, if the size is right, so on the patches, Callie's going to offer them in multiple sizes so you can pick it to match your airplane. That's what we've been talking about. They're going to come in multiple sizes, I think from 2 inch all the way to 5 inch, I think is what they're going to come in. I would think they And then if scale. you say, I want that patch in whatever size, she'll make it in whatever you want. But I think on the website, it's actually going to be in, you know, from little bitty to pretty good size. So that they'll scale good to your airplane. You'll just have to measure how big you now, want that. And as we there. mentioned earlier, I do the artwork. It's up to Cali. It's going to be, I'm going to leave that up to Callie as far as how she presents them and what the price is. Yeah. That's, that's her, that's going to be, she, that's what she does. I'm a, that, that's what we've agreed to. Yeah. So what you see, it will be what she puts on them and what she offers. But I think it's going to be great. I, I hope it, it's something you guys really go for. Yeah. And, and as many people as stuck are. Uh, stickers Bruce on sticker. everything. I mean, I've seen that Mary Bruce I couldn't sticker believe <laughs> uh, Carlos at Joe Nall comes up to me. He's like, yeah, I got it on the side of my F4. I'm like, oh my gosh, you put our sticker on your F4? That's amazing to me. It's just crazy. Uh, Jackson RCA Basin. Did you see that, Lori? Where's I that? Jackson Aviation. Mary Boozer email me at jacksonaviation.com so I can contact you off screen. Got it. Copy paste. We got you, Jackson Aviation. God. You can also reach out to us always on Instagram, Facebook, and, and everywhere. Like I say, if some of you guys are in the aviation world, I mean, it, sometimes the, Ryan's told me this that this these patches can go across. Yeah, the mediums. patches aren't just for RC airplanes. I, I guys will. Like them too. If if some of you guys like these guys here that fly these. Old Warbirds, and you have an A2, and you want a patch, I can handle it. But we, you know, the other cool thing, I, this isn't the only B-17 it is. I've got the 909, and then I also have a free wing, and I'm getting ready to do one of them, and I haven't decided, I might keep 909 as 909 now, but one of them, I've got the, the artwork to do Texas Raider out of it, and I've always wanted a Texas Raider B-17, so that's in the future. I don't know when, because we've got... All the other planes going on right now, but I do have the graphics. You just don't see the brown ones. The brown one is kind of rare, yeah. Um, I don't know, yeah. I do want to wear If I keep this one, I'm going to airbrush it at least and put the dirties on it. And, and if I keep it, and I, I don't know. I can do the papa dots on it. Yeah. It's kind of dusty. Hadn't flown in a while. It's kind of old. It is. This is actually a really old kit. I want to say this plane is pushing seven or eight years now. So just look at the wing flex on this kit. Can you see this? Hey, you can't really tell. But the the wing actually flexes that much. <laughs> it, it wasn't the best design they ever did over at Nitro Planes. <laughs> but it was a good flyer. I mean, it flies good. So, 
Guys, I've had a wonderful evening. I want to go get a good night's sleep. We uh, got back from Joe Nall, or Fall Nall yesterday, and then we got up early this morning because a friend of ours got baptized this morning, and we went to see his baptism. Uh, and then we became members of a new church this morning, officially. Oh, really? So, uh, anyway, we're going to let you go. We're going to get us some rest. Be looking tomorrow for the Havoc video. Me and Lori are going to make sure that goes up in the morning. Um, and then be looking. We're thinking, like I said, two videos a week for the next coming weeks until we get kind of caught up because we have so much content on our page. we just got to get through and start editing everything. So I think that we can realistically do two videos a week right now, plus our live show, as always. We will still do our weekly live shows, 8 p.m., as always. If you're new to the channel, I know there's a couple new guys that have met us at Joe and All. Um, we do this every week, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, right here on the Mary Boozers channel. I believe we will either be unboxing our uh, MiG-21 next week or the FMS Tiger Cat. We I don't know yet. With it, but we've almost done this for a year. I, mean, I don't know if we can say we've done this, but we have I don't know about the live a, show, but... We, we haven't are, missed a Sunday... In a long time. Show and forever, so we're, we're pretty, we're pretty, uh, you can almost count on us being yeah. here. So, I don't know which plane it's going to be next week. It'll either be, like I said, the MiG-21 or the FMS Tiger Cat. We'll do the unboxing on next week. Uh, it just kind of depends on how frisky we're feeling and what airplane I want to do. It just comes down to which one I want to do. And uh, I, put we'll figure that, it out. I put out that again, guys. Think about what you want to ask us next week. Uh, yeah. Think about uh, the artwork thing. That if there's something that you, maybe your father, have one, or you know what squadron he was Love in. Steve. Look, tell me what squadron it is, and I'll see if, uh, if we have it made. And if it's not, if there's some of those squadron that did not have a patch, so I Tiger can't guarantee, next week. guarantee you that I can make one. But I have books. And it shows some of the patches. So hey, I tell you what. Any requests? When this like video that? ends, go back in. It won't show up right away, but go back in tomorrow or whatever and comment. What do you want us to unbox next week? MiG twenty one or Tiger Cat? There you go. I have to go get the Tiger Cat, but if you want it, I'll go get it and we'll do it. But you tell me in the comment section after this video is over what you guys want to see next week. And a lot of you guys that's new, go back and review some of the stuff we've done in the last year. It, it, we, we actually did the unboxing of the it Flatline Tiger Cat. We did the... Yep. the, the, the uh, and I do plan on actually, since I have a flight, I've got two Flightline Tiger Cats actually, I actually kind of want to do a Flightline versus uh, FMS Tiger Cat video. Um, right now, I really like the price point on the flight. flight line a lot better. And I love my Flightline Tiger Cat. Um, but now the Flightline takes two It's batteries. a different airplane, you know. There's one's 4S, one's 6S. Yeah. One's 3 something. <laughs> I can't remember what the price is, but the other one's like one, 5 though. something. And I don't regret buying the Flightline. Yeah, I don't regret buying my Flightline. I'll tell you that you right now. You bought the love line, but you, you did the upgrades on the... the I did do the upgraded uh, struts on mine. He hasn't. Um, but I... The thing flies like a... Everybody loved our Versus videos, airplane. and I, I think I'll keep them going. Um, I've got the FMS... What in the heck is it? The red thing. Russian plane. I've got the Motion one, and I've got the FMS one. I want to do those eventually. I can't remember what it's called. It's the Russian thing. I can't remember. There's a couple of those videos coming in the future. We like doing them. Um, I think you guys enjoy it. It helps you decide as a consumer what airplane to get. We like it. But anyway, Again, thank no offense to anybody out there, but we, we like doing those videos. We've got the multiple different kinds of airplanes, and why not show them all against each other and let the best man win kind of deal. Thank so all of you way. for the super chats and oh my gosh. out there. Yeah, they, oh my uh, gosh. Tonight's super tonight super chats were with crazy. All you guys with the super chats. Uh, we just can't thank you enough. 
And yeah. I guess, I don't know of anything else. I don't want to bore them to do it. Yeah. But you win or you lose, I will still get up and go to work tomorrow. Hey, you know who else has to go to work tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This guy. I have to go to my real job. Yak 130. Yak 130. Thank you. Somebody got it. I've got right the FMS there. Yak 130 and the free wing uh, Yak 130. I want to fly those heads to head. I've flown the free wing a whole bunch. I've never flown the FMS yet. Um, uh, I really like the free wing. And, it's it's and not Dave, one of those planes Dave that doesn't says fly the like FMS Tiger Cat is 450 on sale right now. Hey, dang, that's a good deal. Yeah, that's a really good deal because that is one big airplane. And it, I, yeah, I will say that the the uh, gear on the FMS just looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like the way they did the rivets on it too. I, I've never seen one up close, so I can't. Well, you're gonna that. get to now. All right, all right, all right, guys, we're gonna get out of here. Thank y'all all so much. Yeah. Check out that subscriber count. Wait till next week. It's going up every every time, and, and it just blows me if, away. If you really want us to give something away? Get us close to 2,000. I bet you we can find something. I bet to we can figure something to give away at 2,000. I bet he's right. So, guys, without further ado, we're going to get out of here. It's a pleasure always. Go fly something with your buddies. That's the most fun thing you could do in the world. And be safe at it. And be safe with it. Yeah, don't run anything into anybody. Anyway, we're out of here. Five, four, three, two. Smell you later. Bye.